This is Jonathan from Robotics. Today, I'll be talking to you about the various operating modes supported by Dynamixel actuators. Dynamixel support a variety of operating modes besides the standard position-based operation common amongst robotic servos. This provides Dynamixels with additional flexibility by allowing users to choose the operating mode that best suits their specific application. Before we get too deep in the details, I'd like to provide a quick overview of all the different operating modes supported by Dynamixel actuator. After, I'll provide more specific information about the capabilities and intended use case for each of these modes. You can also feel free to skip directly to the detailed descriptions of any of the operating modes using the timestamps located in the video description below. Dynamixels support a total of six different operating modes, starting with position mode, the default operating mode of Dynamixel actuators, and the one most similar to the operation of other servo modes. This mode allows the users to specify desired build positions for the servo to move within a single rotation. The next supported mode is Extended Position Control Mode. This behaves similarly to Standard Position Mode with the additional ability to specify positions requiring multiple rotations. Then we have Velocity Mode. In this mode, users specify a goal speed for the endless rotation of the dynamixel. Current Control Mode is similar to Velocity Mode, only instead of specifying an output speed, we specify a current for output force. Current Based Position Control Mode brings this force-limited motion position-based control modes. The final supported mode is PWM mode, or Pulse Width Modulation mode. In this mode, users specify the desired PWM output to be sent to the Dynamixel's internal DC motor, allowing more direct control of the actuator's behavior. With that quick clamoring out of the way, let's get into the specifics about each of these supported operating modes. Position mode is the default operating mode for new Dynamixel actuators, and the one most familiar to users of standard servers. In position-based mode, Dynamixels can be instructed to move to specified goal positions within a single full rotation. An important feature of this mode is that a Dynamixel will never cross over the zero position during motion. The default configuration for position mode allows goal positions to cross the entire rotational range. But the use of the minimum and maximum position limit control table items allows restriction of movement for use in joints with smaller ranges of motion. The specific number of positions available depends on the exact model of actuator in question. These specifications are available on the Robotics eManual page for each Dynamixel actuator. Position mode is perfect for use in robotic joints with limited ranges of motion, such as legs or elbows, where care must be taken to avoid overextension or collisions with other components. Standard position mode has multi-turn capability for position-based Dynamixel operation. In this mode, Dynamixels can be instructed to move to specified goal positions within 256 rotations in either direction. There are two important considerations to remember when using Dynamixels in this mode. The minimum and maximum position limit control table items do not apply in extended position mode, and Dynamixel actuators do not recall their last multi-turn position upon power off. The current position value was set to within a single rotation after powering back on, so it's important to implement a homing solution for safety-critical multi-turn applications. Extended position mode is best used in robotic joints or motion systems where the added flexibility of multiple rotations is required, such as the base and wrists of a robotic arm. Velocity-based mode provides operation similar to a standard DC motor, an endless rotation with controllable output speed in both directions. This mode does not support specification of desired goal position, but the present position control table item continues to report the actuator's position. When operating multiple models of dynamics mode and velocity mode, it's important to note that different modes have different minimum and maximum rotational speed, so similar goal values may produce different output speeds depending on the specific model. Velocity mode is best suited for use as a drive solution for real robot, as in our TurtleBot 3 RLS research box. Current base mode is very similar to velocity, providing endless rotation with controllable output speed in both directions. However, in current mode, the rotational speed is determined by the goal current rather than a velocity. A Dynamixel's actuation force is directly proportional to its current output. This means that current-based operation modes can be used to implement compliant control by limiting the output force to safe level. Current-based control mode is best suited for applications like robotic grippers, where the compliance afforded by this mode will allow secure grasping of objects without risking damage to the actuator or the object being manipulated. Current-based position control features similar current limiting capabilities as standard current. However, in this mode, if an actuator is obstructed during movement or is displaced from the goal position after arriving, it will automatically attempt to return to the goal position by exerting force up to the specified goal current. The actuator will attempt to reach a specified goal position until a new one is provided. 
Current base position controls for the same 256 turn range of movement as extended position mode. And, much like extended position mode, it's important to remember that multi-turn position information is not remembered across reboots. Current base position mode is the best option for use cases involving collaborative operation of Dynamixel servos and humans, as well as other situations where Dynamixels are operating in close proximity to delicate objects, such as cobots or manipulators. PWM mode is the most unique of all Dynamixel operating modes. Basic operation of PWM mode is similar to current control, with the actuator endlessly rotating with a force proportional to the desired PWM value being supplied to the internal motor. However, PWM mode differs from other Dynamixel operating modes in a very significant way. PWM mode is the only operating mode that completely disables the integrated PID controller of the Dynamix, providing direct and unmodified control for precise movement of the actuator. As such, this mode provides users the most direct control over Dynamix of movement, but requires additional external control solutions for maximum utility. It's also important to remember that the desired PWM value must be specified using the Dynamixel protocol. Dynamixels do not support direct PWM control from external mode. PWM mode is intended as a way for expert users to integrate Dynamixels into their project with maximum direct control of output motion and should not be used without a strong understanding of Dynamixels and an external control solution. That's a complete summary of every operating mode supported by Dynamixel Actuator. If you'd like to learn more, you can check out some tutorial videos available here on this YouTube channel, take a look at some of the technical documentation available on our online e-manual, or pop in to ask some questions on the Robotus community forum. This has been Jonathan at Robotus, and I look forward to making more with you soon.